Hey guys, it's Carter61 here. First off, I'd like to apologize for my voice because I've got a bit of a cold. I'm also known as Jock61 if you guys have downloaded my programs in the past. But anyway, um, so lately at school I've been really annoyed because, well, they've blocked all these sites that I used to use, like ones that help me with my programming. They've actually blocked YouTube as well. And if you guys play GTA, GTA San Andreas, the site has been blocked. You can still play the game, but the actual site has been blocked itself. So, I was really annoyed. So what I did to get around that is just by, you know, going into CMD. Hold on. Run CMD. Enter. Drag over onto this screen. Then you go like, uh, ping uh, google.com. And then see how it goes. Um, one hundred twenty-two point fifty-six point one hundred fifteen point one hundred seventy-seven. That's the IP you would enter into the internet to get to that site, and it would unblock it. Like, see up here. This is GTA San Andreas. If I open up in a new tab and go to SA dash M P San Andreas multiplayer. That's the URL for it, right? And I used to have to go into CMD and do all that stuff to get to it. Say dash MP dot com. So if I went to that side on my school, it would take me to this campus watchdog. This has been blocked, blah, 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 blah. To get around that CMD, get to that. But what I've done is I've made this um, program here called Access It. It pretty much does it all for you. So if I was to just copy the URL of whatever you want or type it in. Put it in here, paste, access, access it. And it will automatically put that in for me. Takes me, and it also puts down the IP of the address down here. So if I was to open that up, again, put that in. Let's take out that. Takes me straight to that site. And that's the IP there. So for my school, that would be unblocked. Because normally I get that message. Now I just go straight to the site, straight up. But say if you're one of those people that want to know your IP address on the server or school that you're at. Click on access it, just with nothing in there. It takes you straight to your IP address at the top. You can copy that, do whatever you want with it. That's your IP address. And guys, this is your local IP address. So don't think about saying, oh, I've got his IP address, I can hack him now, because you can't. It's just a local one. You won't be able to do anything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, before you ask, guys, this isn't just for Firefox. It just goes to your default browser that you've got. So you can put in anything like, let's go google.com just for another demonstration click on it it takes me to google the IP address up there and it shows the IP down here so you can copy that if you need it and yeah so that's pretty much all it does it's just unblocks websites for you it's pretty simple it's a lot easier than going into CMD because it will just open it straight away yeah so rate this video up subscribe comment you know what to do, so yeah, thanks.